Hey, it's Adam. Today we're going to take a look at super source and shortcuts to create automated lower thirds using MixEffect. First, let's take a look at an example. I'm going to run this shortcut here that you see on my iPad called four grids plus lower thirds, and you'll see what happens. First, it's going to transition to a super source, the four grid, and then it's going to bring a lower thirds graphic that I have in my media pool using the downstream keyer. Now watch what happens when I play the four grid alternate plus lower third shortcut. So what just happened? I'm going to actually run it again, go back to the four grid plus lower thirds. And I'm going to go back to the other one. So what's happening behind the scenes? First, let's take a look at my media pool. And we see here we have a lower thirds graphic. Uh, number 14, which is the lower thirds four grid alternate three, which is being used currently in the, uh, the super source layout for the four grid alternate. We also have a lower thirds four grid number two. So if I run this shortcut here, you'll see over here that lower thirds four grid number two has been selected. Okay. Now, just to show you what this looks like, I'm going to just control click and set this one to media player one. And you see, that the, the lower thirds graphic is completely incorrect for this particular uh, super source layout. So I'm just going to reset it. I can do it in one couple ways. I can just do control click and set this one. And we see that's the, the correct one. But how are we doing the transition of the downstream here to disappear and then reappear? And that's where the power of shortcuts comes in. So let's take a look again uh, at the iPad directly. And we're going to go take a look at this shortcut here. Let's go to the four grids plus lower thirds. So this is calling a helper shortcut called the super source and lower thirds helper shortcut. And we're going to take a look at that in a moment. But as a parameter to that shortcut, we send it this dictionary. And a dictionary is basically a bunch of key value pairs. And this tells that shortcut what exactly to do. So first off is where is the lower thirds graphic going to be used? We're going to use it in the downstream keyer, and we're going to use index number one. Which media player is going to hold the lower thirds graphic? And we're going to use media player one. On the ATEM Mini Extreme, you have two media players. So if you have, say, like an ATEM Mini or an ATEM Mini Pro or Mini Pro ISO, you only have one media player, so you have to specify number one. I'm actually using media player two slot to show the title slide, which I showed at the beginning of this video. Now, the still shot for four grid lower thirds is number one. And you'll see if we click done here and tap this one, we'll see that the still slot is number 14 for the four grid alternate. And you can see that here, right here as well. Four grid alternate is number 14, and lower thirds four grid is number one. Preset. This is the super search preset that MixEffect will use when running this shortcut. So we take a look, we have four grid, and I have a locked lower thirds, a special preset that I created. For the DSK fill, I'm using media player one, and for the key, I'm using media player one. I'm setting the rate to 15 frames, setting the pre multiplied to false, and the clip and the gain to 9 and 63%, respectively. Now we take a look at the super source and lower thirds helper shortcut. And we can see here what's it, what's it doing. So it's doing some uh, basically kind of initialization stuff. It's going to check to make sure that the switcher is active, and if it's not, it's going to tell you to like tap OK when the switcher is connected. And here's where the meat of this stuff is happening. So the first thing it's going to do is going to get the details of the DSK, the index that you specified in the dictionary prior. So this is DSK one. If the on air status is one, meaning the DSK is currently active, we're going to auto transition it away, and that's going to make the DSK disappear. Next, we're going to set the super source layout to the value that we set in the dictionary. So in this case, it's the four grid lower thirds um, preset. And then we're going to, first we're going to search for the preset. And if it exists, then we're going to set the super source preset. Then we're going to set the media player still index. So media player one to still index, in this case, it's number one. We're going to set the uh, fill and the key for the DSK, and you can see that in the change settings for DSK1, we set the fill source, the key source, we set the rate, the pre-multiply values, and the clip in the gain. Finally, we do an auto DSK. We know that the DSK is currently inactive because we hit it over here. And if it was hidden already, 
It was already hidden, so we know that when we do an auto transition, it will come back. So now that you know kind of how it works, let's take a look at how this shortcut runs again. So I'm going to tap on the four grids plus lower thirds. The DSK is not active, so that it will do the super source transition and then make the DSK appear. Now when I run this shortcut over here, the four grid alternate plus lower thirds, it's going to check that the DSK is active, which it is. It's going to hide it. And then it's going to change the super source. And at the same time, or around the same time, it's going to set the media player number one to use the still index number 14. So we'll watch how that runs. And there you go. So how do you create these lower third graphics? So we can take a look at my Mac here. And I have Photoshop running here. And what I've done is I've exported the super source uh, graphics for the preset. So actually, let's go back to here. And we're going to take a look at super source. So let's say you want to export um, the four grid lock lower thirds. Actually, let's do the four grid alternate. So you would just do control click and then say save preset icon. And you want to choose the 1080p, the 1920 by 1080. And what that's going to do is going to save the graphic to your photos library. And then you can transfer it using AirDrop or email it to yourself and then bring that into Photoshop. So let's take a look at again how that works. So this is a uh, Photoshop that's running on my Mac right now. And you can see that uh, I have this layout here. And then I'm going to bring in the layers. And actually, I have to move my uh, image out of the way because I can't see the thing. So I'm just going to drag him down here. OK. And we're going to bring in the layers. Go back to the windows. Layers is already visible because it is, where is it hiding right here? Oh, it's hiding in my other screen. So here's the layers right here. So uh, when you bring in the image, it basically looks like this. And then basically all you have to do is add your lower third graphics, and then you'll export it. So in this case, we add like this and like that. And then we hide it. We just export this graphic as a PNG file. And again, right now, mix effect. You can't upload PNG files with transparency. They'll actually be converted to uh, like white or black. Uh, that's a current limitation in the app and something that I'm actively looking to fix. So right now, you'll still need to use ATEM software control on your Mac or PC to import these graphics and have the correct transparency. The other thing to keep in mind is that when I create these graphics, I've noticed that the boxes are not perfectly aligned with the video sources. I'm trying to figure out what's exactly happening here. But you can see how, if I zoom in here, that the, the box here is slightly off in the graphic. Uh, but we'll actually, when you run uh, the super source, you know, when you run the action, and I'll show you how here, it's actually perfectly aligned here. So you have to do some trial and error to figure out the exact you know, uh, size and position and shape of your boxes to make sure that they, they match properly with the lower thirds uh, and the preset. So uh, let's make this a little smaller here. And I'm going to be releasing the lower third graphics uh, for four grid and four grid alternate, as well as the shortcuts that I've shown in this video here. So you can use it in your own productions. But now, now that you know how the lower third graphics are created, um, all you have to do is make a bunch of shortcuts. Now, one more thing to keep in mind is that if you have one of these lower thirds on, and then you want to switch to a super source. You can't just, uh, in the iPad here, I can't just tap on, say, uh, camera, because watch what will happen. It will switch to this camera, but as you can see, the DSK is still active. Okay, So what I've done here is I've created a camera one shortcut. If we take a look at what this is doing. It's running another shortcut, which is called auto off DSK one. And then it sets the super source layout to one camera. And all the DSK uh, auto off one does is it gets the details of the current DSK. If it's on air, then it will just auto transition it off. So if we run this, it will just make that DSK disappear. And since I'm already on camera one as my super source preset, nothing really changes. But if I was on the four grid alternate plus lower thirds, and we can see the lower thirds appears here, we can just tap this. It will make the DSK disappear and do the super source transition. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind is if if you are using this and you're not 
uh, if you're transitioning back to another super source layout that does not have a downstream keyer active, you just need to make sure that you make it disappear. Um, so I hope you've learned a few things about how to use super source and shortcuts in mix effect to create automated lower thirds. We'll be back uh, in the future with another video on mix effect. If you haven't subscribed already to this channel, please do so down in the corner below. Uh, we'd really appreciate that. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and every subscriber counts. Thanks again. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.